The shrimping has been good this year, so we decided to go back out and see if we can catch some more. This time, we remembered to bring our blue mesh plastic uh, basket. This is really helpful when you're shrimping because you can dump your shrimp onto this basket. It's got holes so the water drains out, so all you're left with is your shrimp, and it doesn't make such a mess on the boat. So if you don't have one of these for shrimping, I'd recommend it, it's pretty, pretty helpful. But anyways, we get back out to the spot and we start shrimping. So a uh, typical shrimping method in the day by boat is we're checking different depths to see you know, what's holding the shrimp best. When we catch a lot of shrimp, then we focus in on that depth and just keep throwing. We're using about a six, seven, or probably about seven or eight foot nets um, generally, and we tape them so we get a wider spread and that helps us to catch more shrimp. I wouldn't recommend going too much smaller. I've seen some people with some three, four foot or nets, really tiny, not taped, and it's really hard to catch a bucket of shrimp with a net that small. If you're feeling really brave, once you find the shrimp really good, then you can even throw a good 10 footer if you want. But uh, make sure you're on the shrimp good because it's going to get tiring lifting that thing, you know, constantly. <laughs> what was really neat about the trip was my dad on one of his casts pulled up a tiger shrimp. Now I'd never seen a tiger shrimp before, I never caught one, none of us have. So this was really exciting. It's pretty cool. Um, they're non-native species. Uh, fairly rare I guess, I haven't heard of many caught in our area and I've heard they actually taste good. You can actually keep them, you know, actually you're encouraged to keep them because they're a non-native species. So it's like the lionfish, you don't want this thing just taking over. So um, it's really big, you know, much bigger than our other shrimp, so that's nice. So we're looking forward to uh, cooking it up and seeing how it tastes. We take this shrimp and the others, take them back to the house and we clean them. Cleaning shrimp is pretty easy, it can be a little time consuming if you have a lot of them and they're small but all you really got to do is just separate the heads from the tails now if you kind of flip them over and pinch them right between the head and the tail uh, right right in between it from the from the belly towards the back sometimes when you pinch them and peel them it'll pull that vein out so when you peel them later you usually de-vein them take that back vein out so if you can get that while you're heading them it's just kind of an extra bonus helps out but it's pretty simple, just grab them between the head and tail, pinch it, separate the tail from the head, keep the tail, and discard the head. Simple enough. So now the question is, how good are these to eat? So we fried them up. We fried up some of our normal shrimp, and we fried up this tiger shrimp. Cooked them up, uh, just you know, dipped them in batter. I've got a catch and cook on this if you wanna see exactly how we fry our shrimp. But um, pretty basic, we fry them up, and cut them up and pass them around the table. Okay, so we have us a tiger shrimp here that we caught versus our ordinary shrimp. Um, so we're gonna get a little taste test and see how they compare. A little sauce. That tiger. Mm. So that was regular. This is tiger. Tastes good. I mean, I, I can't really taste the difference. They're both really good to eat. So there you have it. If you catch one of these, keep it and eat it. It's a situation affirmative. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All agree that it tastes good. Very similar to our normal shrimp. In fact, if you gave me the two and didn't tell me one was tiger, one was our normal shrimp, I think white shrimp, then I, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So if you catch one of these, by all means, keep it because you don't want to throw it back and, you know, non-native species like that. But also, it's good to eat, so take advantage of that. They get bigger than normal shrimp, or at least the ones I've seen caught when I looked up later. These things can get pretty big. Hope you guys learned a little bit about shrimping today and these tiger shrimp especially. Remember, if you find them, take them out. You know, don't let them become a lionfish kind of situation. Also, you can eat them. They're pretty tasty. And have fun shrimping. Thanks again, guys, for watching the video. And we'll see you next time.